What is going on guys, Money Webby here, back again on Friday, coming off a pretty damn solid night yet again last night, all of the plays worked out for the most part, besides really Al Horford, he was kind of lost last night, really didn't have a good game, that can happen sometimes in the NBA, sometimes people just don't bring their A game, but everyone else returned some nice value on DraftKings, Harden got over 60 drafting points, I think Jimmy Butler got around 39, so right around where we were looking for it, even though most of his shots weren't really dropping, he still got some good assists, which I was looking for. Uh, Ish Smith had a good night against Alfred Payton. Marcus Smart uh, really balled out last night against the Rockets. Very active on the defensive end against James Harden. He returned some good value. And also Tyus Jones, my Dollar Tree play of the day, had a good night as well. So the plays worked out except friggin' Al Horford. But we got some more fire here tonight. Also, the lineup that I tweeted out did pretty solid. Got 285 drafting points. So it was another solid night. So let's keep it going yet again here tonight. Drop a like in the video, though, if you're ready to go. Let's try to get over 100 likes in this video yet again. Definitely subscribe to get these winning plays every single night. So we're going to kick it off first with Kevin Durant here at 10,600. Going against Charlotte, a good matchup here. They really struggle against small forwards. Uh, Durant might go a little bit less, lesser owned tonight. Uh, because he's kind of been struggling recently in his last couple of games, 40, 51, and 33 drafting points. So his price has dropped in turn, in turn with that. But again, Charlotte, last time the guy went off, he dropped, what, 72 drafting points in that game, got a triple-double against them. So I think he can reach 60-plus drafting points yet again in this game. Like, he probably will throw up some more shots. He threw up 28 in that game against Charlotte. So that's definitely where they're trying to attack the Charlotte team. Uh, last game against Utah, kind of a tough match. Up, only put up 10 shots so that was kind of like a throwaway game normally he's not throwing up just 10 shots and also they blew out utah so he only got 30 uh 29 minutes so this game should stay a little bit closer hopefully and kevin durant great matchup here so he can reach uh back to those old heights that he was showing earlier just like a week or two ago without uh steph curry in this lineup so some more shots a good matchup maybe a few more rebounds as well so kd Lock him in there. And then we're going to go with another great matchup here. Kyle Lowry going against Atlanta. Dennis Schroeder is a terrible defender. And Kyle Lowry took his lunch money last time while going for 43 drafting points. He only put up 15 points, but 15, 13, and 6. Uh, really loaded up the stats. And honestly... I think he can score a bit more here in this matchup against Schroeder. Only nine shots there. So I think he might be a little bit more active on the offensive end. And Toronto is a very good team at home. So hopefully this game stays close uh, for Kyle Lowry's sake. But he honestly can get it done in just three quarters against this team because the matchup is so good. He's done it before where he's dropped like a triple-double in just three quarters. So I like the matchup. He should be good for a double-double over 10 points, maybe even over 10 assists. Uh, and he's been balling out recently, over 40 and 3 out of his last 4 games. So I see another game where he gets over 40 drafting points in this good matchup here. So Kyle Lowry, lock him in there. And then we're going to go with the guy that really won everyone some money the other night, Lance Stevenson. Everyone was on him, but he dropped 50, or no, 46 drafting points with Victor Oladipo out of the lineup. They really need him to step up without Oladipo yet again. In this spot here against Chicago, I think he can do it yet again, getting over 30 drafting points, I would assume, tonight. Uh, the minutes will be there. He got 36 minutes. They really don't have that much depth, that small forward with uh, Oladipo out, like the shooting guard, small forward position. They're very kind of uh, thin there, besides Lance Stevenson and Bogdanovich, who will both be starting. So both of those guys will get over 30 minutes. Stevenson, though, he's going to have to shoot the ball. He's a good rebounder at shooting guard, small forward, wherever they put him at tonight. Uh, so he can get, an, get it done yet again here tonight. If he just keeps on scoring, he can fill it up in multiple categories. So I love Lance Stevenson yet again. Lock him in there. Another guy with a great matchup here, Steven Adams. 6,300 against Milwaukee. They struggle a lot against centers. And Adams has been balling out recently. Over 30 drafting points. And three out of the last four games. Really coming into his own. And they got no Paul George here tonight. So maybe he puts up a few more shots in this good matchup against Milwaukee down low. He dropped a double-double against them earlier this year only played 26 minutes because I think they blew him out or Milwaukee blew them out I'm not sure but I know it was a blowout so only 26 minutes uh got the double double that's very good to see I think he can get another double double in this matchup against Milwaukee and without Paul George like I said some more possible shots can go up he's been extremely effective in some of these games uh OKC is really uh right in the right righted the ship recently they've been playing very well so maybe with Paul George they can keep it up and Steven Adams will just take the load 
uh, for Paul George in this game. So 6,300 in a good matchup. Lock him in there. We're my fifth and final play. We're going to go with Markeith Morris at 4,800. Going against Houston. His minutes have been finally trending up. Uh, 27 minutes up to 29, up to 31 in the last couple of games. So that's great to see from the return value. And against Houston, a team that plays kind of small ball without Capella, especially out uh, Markeith Morris. I think he should, he should be uh, getting over 30 minutes yet again in this matchup. So I think he can return some good value here um, in this spot against Houston. They are pretty weak down low without Capella, like I mentioned yesterday with Al Horford. Uh, Al Horford really didn't attack him that much down low. Maybe Markeith Morris does it a bit more in this matchup and even if he doesn't like score that well he should be getting some good rebounds and stuff because Houston is just chucking up so many shots and Markeith Morris uh, might be getting some more run at the five because I mentioned the small ball thing with Houston so that's good for Markeith Morris's sake some more possible rebounds some more possible minutes and also their backup Mike Scott at power forward is out for this game so I think Markeith Morris might be even like a lock for 30 plus minutes as long as he stays out of foul trouble so I like him a lot at 4800 lock him in there and that's the top five you got Kyle Lowry Lance Stevenson Kevin Durant uh, Markeith Morris and Steven Adams so nice kind of balanced out guys with KD hopefully going off tonight 5,000 rem remaining per player and for my Dollar Tree play of the day we're going to go with Bogdanovich. Like I mentioned, for Indiana, they're very thin at the shooting guard, uh, small forward position. So Bogdanovich should get over 30 minutes in this game against Chicago. He's been kind of uh, hot and cold recently. He is like a shooter. So maybe more of a GPP play, but I think he can go off against the Chicago team. They are pretty weak against small forwards. Um, Denzel Valentine, their starter, isn't a good defender. So I think Bogdanovich can get it done here. He's had some big games this year. And against Chicago... Two games against them, he's kind of balled out, shooting 60% from three and 30, uh, 30 drafting points on average in the two games against them. And for whatever reason, he's shooting much better on the road. This game is in Chicago. He's shooting 51% from the field uh, on the road and 44% from three. So hopefully he can keep that going in this spot against Chicago. So I like him as a nice value play considering the opportunity he'll have in this game. And he's shooting the ball a bit more recently. <clears throat> over 10 shots in the last four games so let's see if he can keep that going in this good matchup lock him in so that is it guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video some nice little value plays some nice studs that i think you need to have in your lineup tonight drop a like in the video if you enjoyed it let's try to get over 100 likes like i said and definitely subscribe if you haven't already we're about like 120 away from that giveaway where i'm um, doing the the draftings contest for you guys to win 50 dollars if you can take down that contest so definitely subscribe if you want to be a part of that uh let's keep it going here tonight guys i wish you guys the best of luck on this nine game slate here on friday it's back to back good nights let's try to make it three in a row and we'll see you back here again tomorrow